Hello and welcome back to another episode of European Universalis 4 Blackfoot Campaign. Well, we are a native. We are raided. Well, we're attacking Pima. And all these natives are with us. And they're just on their own. But let's see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen. I've got a feeling they're going to come back over here and hurt me. But we. Oh, what's happened there? Peasants have occupied you. Who oh dare? Proof relations, alright. So, proof relations of these guys a bit more. The Shoshone. So, we're sieging both their lands. Like, they will be able to take that, which is the war goal, I guess. Can I? No, actually, this is the war goal. So, we're going to get the war goal. Also, I can get a new building. I think we're going to get land force limits, maybe. Yeah, so we might need that now. Fortified house. Because having a fortified house will make all the difference. Come on, Navajo. Do something. Help. You're in this wall, right? No, it's just... Oh, it's just us and the Blackfoot? No, us and these? This could be bad. One of us are going to get annihilated in a sec. Oh man. What have I got myself into? I thought more people would be in this war. Don't take it. Hold out the fortification. Get that. Ah. Oh, no. You're going to die. So. War's over. I'm out of the war for no reason. I'm still in the war. Oh, it's just against ask Pueblo, I guess. Alright. Can I get round into Pueblo? Maybe. I've got I've got to go back first anyway, because I'm exiled. I think you're going to get that before they get that, though. Can we fabricate claims? Yeah, you're going to be our rival. Pima. Your arrival. So, Pablo. You. And... Fabricate claim. Natives cannot fabricate claims. They can declare war, though. I am at truce. So I don't want to do that. But in theory, I could attack them. How do I get a Cassus Belly against them? Hmm... Don't know. But hopefully we're gonna win. Oh, no, Pima took it again. No, what the hell's going on? There was a normal treaty of Pima. They will pay some money. How much gains free prestige? Pieble is free prestige. All right, everyone's the same. Nothing extra's happening. So the Apache, let's improve relations to you. Gonna get a fortified house soon, which hopefully may allow me to get an extra guy. Naval force limits are not gonna be a thing for a while. Of course, I'm still gonna build up towards my things here, so. What's gonna be my first native and military and native admin ideas there, so we can get tech costs down, which doesn't matter at the moment. We can almost migrate. Revolt risk, stability costs, tax modifier, probably. Probably tax modifier. And down here, morale. Morale might be good. Or shock. Or even force limits. I'm not sure. Ne Navaja, you're the big player around here. So what's this? Migration possible. Migrate. I can't migrate anywhere. Can I migrate to you? <laughs> I can't migrate yet. Oh my great. Fortunately, that doesn't count as being a province because it's not in the sea zone. Fortunately, I cannot migrate and show you that. Disappointing. Got a fortified house though, so. Build another building. Produce more goods. We'll get some more production. 
Uh, let's go production. Yes. Produce more fish. It, I have loads of trade power. Illum neck or whatever they're called. Ooh. Both are bad. Do the power because prestige is... I've got a feeling it's going to be hard to come by down here. So we can actually get 14. As long as I have the money now. So I can, I can actually build an army. Go and annihilate some people. If I had the money. Which I don't. Could take a ton of, loan, ton of loans. Like, How much would a loan cost me? Take a dollar loan. Wow. That's hardly worth it. So my, my, I could get an advisor. Like, who would I want? Diplo rep guy. It only costs 0.5 a month. Because I've got the half cost. Anything that gives me more money, to be honest. Yearly prestige could be nice. Decays. Don't want to spend money on that right now. I want to get some troops. Need more troops. How much does a troop cost? Great regiment. Ten dollars. Still cost ten dollars in this day and age. Damn it. We can get one though. Let's get it. Sweet. All right. And he's almost done. And we're almost. Not long till we can get our storehouse. Continuing to build the buildings. We're not going to be able to afford the next building, unfortunately. How do I fabricate claims? Do I just declare war in the future? When they've got no truce or. How do you. How do we have claims? Hmm. Form coalition against them? I oh, know. We have a spare diplomat, so you love us, you love us. Kamachi does love us as well. Honored alliance, allied to rival. We improve. Privilege. Oh, you're not in alliance anymore. Trees must have been an old. Need the money so I can build another building. What buildings left have we got? We are producing more goods now, though, right? We supply at 170. Yeah, the demand is not good. So, what can I do now? There's nothing I can do at the moment. Got some techs coming in soon. I want to migrate. <laughs> Why do we have to... St if we played in actual North America, we could have migrated. But I randomised the world. Maybe playing in actual America with these new nations are good. And maybe the randomised world's better for colonisation. Who knows? Form government? What? So we need... Once we've... Once we've got all these, we can reform the government, and we kind of need westernised neighbour. So, unless Spain comes in and annihilates Pima, we're good for that. We even get that far, though. I wonder. So, I kind of don't... kind of need to save your points, really. How do we even get a new leader? Uh, is this chief... There forever? Will we ever get a new guy? Who knows? Who knows? Get an advisor to speed things up. Is there a tax guy? It's a production guy? Spy offense? Diplo rep guy? Same guys. I do feel like. We should get someone to... Maybe we should rush the diplomatic section here. Get this. 
I don't know. How long till our truce is up? 15, 15, 1454. Too long. Much time. Get another building now. So we got goods produced, manpower modifier, fort level, and defense. So manpower is not worth it at the moment. Goods produced is the only one that's going to really increase more stuff. So anything that's going to give us more money, a chance to get more money, let's do it. Really? Now you do this? Uh, well, it's 10% of hardly anything, so go ahead, knock yourself out. I really get no money. <laughs> I've got a manpower, I can't even use it. I want to build some. I can hire some mercenaries. Archers. Okay. First person to get some boats and stuff are going to be like absolute carnage around here. So we're climbing up some military tech and some diplomatic stuff. I mean, I could say for like ever and try and get one of these and just say. Hey, I've got like ships and stuff with Diplotech. In fact, I could get the reduced tech cost. Which would only cost me a thousand power. Only. If I got that, would I be dominating with like galleys and stuff around the side of these nations? I mean, I could blockade them, but. I could even have trade ships. I thought North America was 300. Yeah. It's 250 plus 100. Alright, we're just going to wait for this to tick over. Shoshone. It's going to cost me half a gold a month though. That's just all the money I have. Let's do some improvements with you guys. Three Sisters Field is almost complete. So we're going to get that. What's my production at the moment? Oh, supply, supply is bigger than demand, unfortunately. Let's see what happens to... Is there any way I can see my goods produced? Struck manufacturer. Guess I can't get these. Fort level one. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a wooden fence. Best. Province history. Local natural scientist become famous for his work. Good job. Loads of people have loads of people just become famous on that day. Sweet. Alright, is that gonna increase our un income much? It's 0 0.5 it's five five point seven six at the moment. And that's six point two seven. Alright, so that is an increase by a lot for us, to be honest. We're about to get our new guy here. So I did get colonists, which seemed to like be a bad idea, and because I'm not next to anything. So we get that. Migration cooldown is not important right now. Better relations over time. I'm gonna go for the diplomatic tech cost, to be honest. So now this only costs, wow, well, still costs 1,400. Who's going to get level 2 tech first? Native Council. Do I get that? I need another guy and then I can figure, st start thinking about attacking next May. Alright, so we're almost up to 10. So we can get a guy soon. Some military. We can almost get the next one here as well. Or one of these. Leader shock might be nice when I'm going in. Leader shock. We can have a bit of advantage. Let's wait until we get the next one. The... Let's wait until we get the 
leader shark. Of course, we actually need a leader as well. That's a problem as well. Having a numbers advantage is a massive thing as well. Okay. Got six lots of... Six regiments there. They're all American archers. Almost got this military power. Maybe I shouldn't. Get, maybe I should get the morale because it says leader shock. Holy crap! Can I, can I defeat these peasants? Hopefully. Yes, I can. Nice. Alright, so the military guy is going to be in soon. In fact, we can get an admin guy soon as well. It's just we're only getting plus one a month in these. It's just. Really annoying. So hopefully our next guy's really good in one of these two or both. Alliance from Comanche. You just want us to go to war, right? Better not. Oh, we've gained a hu. We can humiliate them. It's not to conquer and take the land, but to show. Who is a superior tribe? But I don't want to conquer their land. Oh, we got. Alright, so. Land attrition down. So I think we're going to go for morale, morale of armies first. We need to fill all these up. We've lost. A truce, expired. A truce has expired, so if we declared war. Let's bring back... Bring back this guy, he's almost done. If we declared war, will people come in? No, we're not going to proclaim the guarantee. Yes, everyone will come in. Alright, so this is what we're going to do in the next episode. So thanks for watching. And join me again now for the Blackfoots. We're going to... Take our foot and shove it into Pima next episode. Thanks for watching, I will see you then. Goodbye.